here we are, uh, and this is a cocoa pod. It's just been picked, freshly picked, so this is a beautiful pod. And not many people really realise the chocolate actually comes from uh, from a fruit, and this is it. So, and one of these uh, freshly picked uh, pods roughly makes one bar of chocolate. Chris Janke moved to Mission Beach in far north Queensland to take up the challenge of growing cacao, a plant notoriously susceptible to humidity-related disease and climate extremes. So the cocoa industry here in Australia is really tiny by world standards. We've got around 35 hectares in total in all of Australia. And uh, this property here, Mount Edna, is one of the uh, larger farms in all of that. So These are the little flower buds, very small, about the size of a uh, match head. And then here we've got the actual uh, flower opening up. Looks a bit like a little tiny, tiny little orchid. But how these cacao plants are pollinated is a curiosity. The interesting thing about these trees, and like most people assume that uh, trees, fruit trees particularly, are pollinated by bees. Um, bees have got nothing to do with these. Uh, these are pollinated by tiny little midges that live in this leaf litter underneath the trees permanently. And as soon as a little flower pops up, out there come the, uh, come the little midges doing their pollination bit and we get uh, pollinated fruit. And then there's the low-tech system of processing the pods. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It came to me early one morning about three o'clock when I was, uh, couldn't sleep and uh, I had some scrap timber lying around the place and I bought a, uh, a hinge, it was six dollars, which is pretty expensive, but um, we've been using it uh, for oh, about six years now, it really works well. So as a return on investment, I think we're doing pretty well with that one. And inside are the cacao beans, wrapped in a sweet pulpy mush called mucilage. Before the beans go off to become chocolate, they need to be fermented. The mucilage, uh, that fruit flesh, is what drives our fermentation. We have to have uh, sugar to get a, uh, a decent fermentation going, and that's what uh, this white stuff does. This is pretty much the most critical stage of the whole entire process. This is where the, I guess, the flavour development of chocolate happens. You'll find the unique taste inside the beating heart of the cacao bean. And to lock in that fermented flavour, it's dried before being bagged and transported. Oh, I'm not a big chocolate eater, actually, so... We just grow it. Yeah, we just, we just look after it. Seeing it go from, from there to in the ground to this, and knowing you've got a quality product, what I ain't to be proud of. <laughs> 